An independent judiciary protects our individual liberties by checking an overreaching executive or a power-hungry legislature. An independent judiciary defends the First Amendment to ensure that we are a more well-informed public because otherwise, as Thomas Jefferson warned, our freedoms will be short-lived. An independent judiciary ensures that every eligible American has the ability to cast his or her vote so that our government operates with the consent of the governed. In other words, an independent judiciary protects us. Who protects the judiciary? Well, lawyers, for one. Even if you don't remember the source, you've all heard the line, the first thing we do, let's kill all the lawyers. Like many great lines that flowed from Shakespeare's pen. It's usually recounted as a dig because everyone loves to disparage lawyers, as you will soon know. But actually, the quote is meant to convey the exact opposite meaning. In King Henry VI, Dick the Butcher is the one who says, let's kill all the lawyers. He does so as an homage to the rebel Jack Cade who wanted to create anarchy so that he could ascend to the throne. Shakespeare, by saying, let's kill all the lawyers, was saying it because he understood that lawyers are the last and best shield for law and order in our society. That is true in America today, just as it was true in England in the 15th century. Being an attorney is more than a job. It is a profession with ethics and responsibilities. As an attorney, as the dean said, you will be an officer of the court. Your duty will be to seek justice and protect the rule of law. When you get sworn in before the bench, you will take an oath in which you swear the following. I do solemnly and sincerely swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of North Carolina and to the constitutional powers and authorities which are or may be established for the government thereof. And that I will endeavor to support, maintain, and defend the constitution of said state, of said state not inconsistent with the Constitution of the United States, to the best of my knowledge and ability, so help me God. It is an awesome oath. Many careers are ennobling. Being a teacher shapes the minds of others. Being an artist expresses the human spirit. Being an entrepreneur creates wealth and strengthens our economy. But those folks do not stand before a judge, place their hand on a Bible, and swear to defend the Constitution. Lawyers do, you will. You have a special duty to stand up when the Constitution and the democratic norms and institutions that give it meaning are undermined or threatened. Fortunately, Elon's Law School has prepared you to be a lawyer leader from the first day. <laughs> 